you know, I've been, uh, been considering my intros and just thinking about the intros to most of my videos sound exactly the same. And I don't know, we might need to change up the intro soon. I just don't know what we're going to change it up to because I kind of like how the intro sounds, but when I click through my videos, it all sounds exactly the same. And then uh, before we get started, I just have to say, it feels just like I bet my character feels right now in my apartment. It is cold, even though the heater's on and we're still here in short sleeves. But anyway, what's up, YouTube? What to you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Platinum, our severely randomized Nuzlocke, episode 43. Last time we started our way up Mount Cornet, and today we're going to try and put an end to Cyrus's plans. I don't know if we'll get all the way through them, but if you wind up enjoying today's episode, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Remember, we're going for a thumbs up goal of five. That's all. Nice and simple. Thumbs up goal of five. And subscribe if you haven't already. We do have another small goal of just hitting 300 on there. And of course, if you wind up enjoying, share the video out so you can help us out. Now we'll jump in. And today we will not forget our team recap. First up, we have Nadia, the first half of our elite squad, the level 46 poison normal type Palkia in the choice band, bashful nature with flash fire. With Cross Poison, Body Slam, Rock Climb, and Fly. Had to teach a Rock Climb last episode. I only used two moves anyway. Next up we have Sholo Fella, the other half of our Elite Squad. Our level 47 Fighting Type Tyrantor holding the King's Rock Adamant Nature with Sand Veil, Double Kick, Drain Punch, Earth Power, and Cosmic Power. I think he might have a new item coming his way in a second. Next we have Friar the Indestructible, level 47 Water Fighting Type Rapid Ash holding the Wide Lens, Lax Nature with own tempo, with Octazooka Spore, Confuse Ray, and Spark. Then we have Jaya, the god, level 45, Grass Steel type Arceus, holding the Iron Plate, Quiet Nature, with Shell Armor, with Iron Head, Seed Bomb, which we found in the last episode, Aerial Ace, and Leech Seed. Then we have Melita, our level 46, uh, Ghost type Don Fan, holding the Spooky Plate, Quirky Nature, with Inner Focus, with Shadow Claw, Thunder Punch, Iron Head, and Strength. And Frederick is here so that we can surf. The last member of our team is our level 46. How do I forget these names? We talked about this in the last episode, but we're going to stop doing random names after this LP. But anyway, we have Savan, the level 46 water type Mew. Excuse me, who's also on the team? Now, I was just thinking, like, surely there's... Surely there's a plate that I can give, or a black belt. Flame plate, not, that's not what I'm looking for. Really? Draco plate, splash plate, what plate? Hold on, hold on. What plate powers up fighting type? Uh, plate. Is there not a fighting type plate? Fist plate. Okay, that has to be it. I don't have a fist plate? And I don't have a... I really thought I would have... To be honest, I thought I had both of them. I'm surprised more so that I don't have a fist plate, though. <clears throat> guess not. I guess Sholofella will continue to hold that not great item. So the question today for today is... What was it? It was actually a pretty good question. Um... I don't have a clue. It'll probably come back to me at some point. But anyway, we're making our way here through the rest of this. I don't know if we'll be able to get through all of the rest of it today, but we're gonna try our 
best to do so. And I did not mean to leave Nadia in. But Nadia can have one more battle. And we're just... Oh, it didn't die? That's not funny. That's not funny. That gave me all kinds of flashbacks to... Oh. Uh, all kinds of flashbacks to... Emerald. I'm pretty sure it also happened in Crystal, but I guess Jaya is the next person that we train. And I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go. Why is he guarding that door? I'm pretty sure we can't go through that door. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we can't go through that door. Uh, I really wish that I could remember the question, the, the question that I had in mind. Um... I don't even really remember what it had to do with. Oh, that did nothing. Yeah, Iron Head is still gonna be our. Are, are we serious? What are you? What are you doing, Unknown? That Unknown was just like. Ah! Oh, I guess it is Unknown, so it only has one. Groudon is in here. Oh, I do go that way. No, I don't go this way. This might actually be Heatran's. Uh, Heatran's location, like I said in the last episode. You're right, you're absolutely right. I'm hopelessly lost. Please don't pay attention to a lowly grunt with, like me without any Pokemon. The boy turned around. That's, uh, that's convenient writing. That's convenient writing if I've ever seen it. Oh man, I really wish... Okay, yeah, there's definitely an item hidden back there. But I don't have Rock Smash and I'm not teaching... <gasps> Wow. Um. I don't know. Ah. I guess it's in head, but I guess it makes sense to at least teach it. Man, what was our question? I'm so upset because I like I waited to record until I could come up with a a good question of the day, and then I freaking forgot it. Hmm. I might have to go with the second one that I was thinking of, which is what kind of weather do you like best? Let's just, let's just, so I can stop thinking about it. Question of the day, what is your favorite kind of weather? Are you a are you a warm weather kind of person? Are you a cold weather kind of person? Are you a, are you an in-between kind of person? Over the over recent years, I've certainly turned into like a I really like the in-between. Uh, where you know you can ride in your car with your windows down. I never did that before. Uh, I never used to do that. Never ever ever used to do that. Um, now I do it every chance I get. I think there's an item right here. Find Pidgey out here. Wow. That's amazing. I'm so happy that I found a Pidgey and an Ekans. We're in Kanto. They call it, they call this route the Kanto route. That is not where it is. The item is here. An X special defense. That might be the most useless item that I've found. We're getting close to the top, I can tell. Is it gonna be Jaya? Is it actually gonna be Jaya that leads us? I hope so. I love Jaya. But I would probably say that I'm more of a, uh... I'd probably say that I'm more of a summer person than anything. So maybe, well, maybe I'll say it's favorite season. Then again, I live in Texas, so seasons don't really exist. If you're unaware, the way Texas works is just a couple days ago. Um, yeah, you're dead. Um, just a oh, you did not die. Why did you not die? Anyway, um, just a oh, cause steel resists. Got it. Anyway, um, couple days ago, I had my back door I had my window or my back door open 
letting some air in, you know, just letting it, letting it cool out in here. Like, getting fresh air, blah, blah, blah. And it got really cold that, like, while the door was wide open. I'm good. I'm good. I just I just panicked for a second. I just panicked for a second. There's nothing wrong with panicking for a second. Checking what, what the heck just happened. <laughs> anyway. And now, the last couple days, it's been freezing. And the whole... Well... I guess part of the state is, like, closing down. Texas people don't do very well when it gets cold. Uh... I'm gonna go with that. Are we there already? There's no way. I don't know why. Never mind. I just started to do a save state. I'm so scared. I actually didn't know that we would make it here today. I thought it was gonna be a little longer than this, but I'm gonna. I'm just gonna use this. I might as well. I could have probably used like a potion or something, but. All right, who do we want in the front? Melita and Jaya. Actually, let's go. Let's let let's let Melita lead, just so we're not just throwing our our best Pokemon out there. Our boss is about to do something spectacular. Don't get in the way. I just remembered the question of the day. We're changing the question of the day right here, right now. The actual question of the day is if you could be on one of the bad teams, one of the evil teams, which team would you be on? So that's not necessarily which is your favorite, or maybe it is which is your favorite, but if you could be on one of them, like if you could play through a game that was Pokemon Team Galactic, and you were one of these Galactic grunts that worked his way up to being the Galactic leader, etc, etc, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments down below. That was the question of the day I was thinking about. Don't get in the way. Of course you won't, will you? Or, of course you will, won't you? That's why the two of us will team up to take you down in an epic duel. It's time! I can't, I can't enunciate that fast. Which is weird, because I'm a musician. Anyway. Alright, I'm going to Shadow Claw the lower level, Teddy Ursa. And I'm going to let you Iron Head. No, I'm going to let you Seed Bomb the Bell Sprout. Let's see how this goes. Turn my, let me turn my music back up. It's been really loud recently, but the episodes... It hasn't come through in the episodes as loud as it is to me. Also, in the next... In the next random... I, I'm actually, you know what? There's gonna be additional rules in the next series that we do in this slot. Like, in our main series, there's going to be some additional rules, and I'm actually really excited about them. Uh, a couple of the ones that I've been thinking about. However, the one that I can't figure out is this. I think we should completely randomize everything. But that means that there's a chance that, like, say, Lance at the end of the Elite Four will have a Caterpie. And that I don't like. That's not gonna do anything to me. My name is Jaya. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a god. Hi, hi. I am a god. Nice to meet you. Hello, hello. Uh, Shadow Claw did not affect. So how about we double Iron Head? That was dumb. I probably should have gone for the move that I have more of, but not very effective. Okay, well, can you take two of them? All right, fine. Not very effective. <laughs> So you're gonna use Shadow Claw back on me? Not okay. I'm not okay with that, you little normal type Machop. I'm not okay with that. Uh, let's just hit him with strength and air release. Pop, pop, pop. All right, here we go. What, what evil team would I like to be on? We're not capable of slowing you. We'll let you pass so you can get pulverized by our bosses. He said bosses. He said plural. All right, I'm hyper potioning here. Do I have enough? 
Yes, I, I definitely do. And I have a master ball in case things go awry. There's no hidden items up here, right? Alright, if I remember right, like, you can, like, walk freely up here. I think you actually have to talk to them to activate the events. I feel like there's an item right there. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Alright, now I actually have to differentiate these voices. <clears throat> Where do you think you're going? I won't let you disturb our boss. If you're not gonna listen, you'll have to go through me first. After all, you've made me look bad more times than I care to remember. And I'll be next. You might be tough, but this time the gloves are coming off. Hold on one second. Don't you start the party without me. Huh? Remember me. I'm here to get my revenge. Ha! Huh, if it isn't that stupid little boy. The little crybaby from Lake Acuity. Did you tough enough of it? Sure, let's battle two on two. This is kind of not an optimal two on two, like, way that we're standing. Tristan and Bob. Sam sent out a weeping bell. That's what you've been training? Why do you have level 40? Why do you have a level 44? Alright, I'm going for the... I'm going for the Duskull. So this is what we're doing. Never mind. Apparently a weeping bell... Holy crap. Why did that weeping bell go down? Or excuse me. Why did that uh, gulpin... What just happened and how can I get a weeping bell? <laughs> what did I just witness? What just... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna shadow... We'll go here. Thunder! Ouch! Okay, thank you. Weeping bell. Go ahead. Bone club. What do you... Why do you use a bone club now? Nothing lives. Once my Pokemon attack, nothing is safe. Nothing is safe from my Pokemon. Oh god, you're level 51. Are you okay, Giraffe Rig? Like, do we need to talk? That Chansey's gone! That Chansey's gone! That Chansey is gone! Out. Dead. Kaput. Peace. And got a crit! Melita is mad out here! Woo! Melita! Okay, hold on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that crazy. If you were watching and you saw me, like, almost just attack, it was an accident. I promise. I know I play aggressive sometimes. It was an accident. I promise. I promise. He's landed three thunders! What is this giraffe rig? Oh my goodness. Is he gonna hit the fourth? I want him to hit the fourth. Hit me hit me with another one, excuse me. That was very uh unprofessional. He's hit four thunders! Weeping Bell, don't die! No, no! Yes! Yes! Weeping Bell is safe! Just what I've always wanted. A weeping bell. Oh, you're gone. You're, you can't live that. I don't care if you're a dark type. Melita, you've got to relax. You are not... This thing paralyzes me in fear. Um, I'm just going to Shadow Claw. Don't you dare, Rocky Head. Don't... Alright, that's fine. No! Weeping bell! Weeping Bell the God is gone now. Melita. Melita and Weeping Bell. Who knew? Who knew Melita and Weeping Bell would be the freaking team?
Wow, I can't believe we just destroyed them like that. Heh, <laughs> my Pokemon are tough, right? I can get even tougher. But, you know, that's it for us. We've hit the wall. Domino, I'll help you with this. Hey, Domino, this is it. It's your show now. No, stop! Okay, that's fine. Everything is ready for the creation of a new world. Now all will end, and everything will begin. With this, the red chain made from the crystals of the three lake Pokemon. And this, the red chain I replicated with technological means. With these red chains, I will pry open the portal to another dimension. I command that you unleash your power for me. Well, I guess we're doing this now. Cool. I'm sitting here thinking about, you know. Oh, Nintendo, please don't. Nintendo, please don't. <sighs> I was thinking about doing a shorter episode and cutting and then doing all of this in one episode, but Dialga, the mythical Pokemon and the master of time and the other. Palkia, the mythical Pokemon and the master of space and dimensions. Yeah, up until this, I was definitely a fan of, of Dialga, but now that we've had a Palkia... Okay, this is, this is looking kind of wild. And... Never mind. I'm not going to make my comment. I'm not going to make my comment. If the screen could stop shaking, though, that'd be great. I've waited so long for this moment, Dialga and Palkia. Shaping this world is a double spiral of time and space. Look at how the text blurs. Look at how cool this is. Yes, the very things that you have ability to control. You will do my bidding. I will have your abilities as mine. With the power I wield, I will create an entirely new world. The incomplete and ugly world we have can now disappear. I am re re resetting everything to zero. Nothing can remain. It is all for making the ultimate world, a world of complete perfection. Nothing so vague and incomplete as spirit can re can remain. Nintendo, please don't. I'm sorry, okay, Nintendo? That's my boy, Ooxie. Oh, look at his, uh, or look at Mesper. Mesper said, huh? My boy! My favorite, Azelf. I don't like how he plays in, uh, competitive, though. Kind of lame. I should have expected as much. Uxie, the being of knowledge. So Uxie, the being of knowledge, means that Uxie is like Izzy. Actually, that goes pretty close. Azelf, the being of willpower. What's willpower? Would that be like courage? I feel like that'd be like courage. What is it? Courage, friendship. Uh, courage, friendship, love, knowledge, reliability, sincerity, hope, and light. And Mesprit, the being of emotion. So Mesprit is definitely uh, Mimi. The Pokemon have come to protect Sinnoh. Pathetic and worthless. It takes the three of them, the three lake Pokemon that symbolize spirit, to balance either the Pokemon of time or space, but they can't maintain balance against the two. Not when both Dialga and Palkia are here. Their, their coming here is in vain, so much meaningless drama. Now, Domino, you've constantly interfered with my plans, but you will be forgiven. After all, there will remain no spirit for all time when I am done. All spirit will disappear, it will be ripped away. From you, from your Pokemon, from those precious to you. It is time. My dream will be my reality. What is this pressure I feel? Something is enraged? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cyrus backed up. He's like, oh, crap. What did I do? Oh, my God. Interesting. So, there is a Pokemon that can only appear as a shadow. Yo, I haven't seen this in so long! Regardless, the effort is rash and foolish. I have harnessed the power of Dialga and Palkia. That boy shifted forms? I, Cyrus, won't have any more...
That was like almost perfectly timed. No! You ain't special! You ain't special, Mesprit! Get out of here! Go! Shoo! What? What was that for? Are you emotional? I'm sorry I took so long. I think I finally found the answer from studying the myths. When this world was made, Dialga and Palkia appeared. Apparently there was one more Pokemon that appeared at the same time. A Pokemon with as much power as Dialga and Palkia. But also one whose name was never to be spoken. Giratina. It's said to lurk in another world. A world on the opposite side of ours. That's what the shadow was. It must have been Giratina. The pillars are distorting. It's because of that portal. It's joined us to the other world. If it's not closed, the distortion will spread through Sinnoh and beyond. Our world will be destroyed. Are you ready? We have to chase Cyrus. No! You need to get ready. I'll wait here. On that note, we are saving. Can I save? Can I save yet? I still can't save. Anyway, on that note, we're, we're wrapping up this episode. That is a wild, wild end to the week. It's the first time I've seen that stuff in a, quite a while. I don't remember if I've ever watched a Platinum LP. But anyway, that was pretty hype. If you did have fun during today's episode, hit the thumbs up down below. We're going for a goal of five. Should be pretty easy to get. And we will see you in the next episode no wait before that part make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and answer our question of the day which again to clarify was if you could join one of these teams which team would you join we will see you in the next episode until then spread some positivity be the light and have a blessed day